Welcome to the Bootleg Zones. <laughs> Absolutely gotta love that name, Amicable Herculean. I mean, unless you don't, but in that case, I seriously question your taste in stupid knockoff line name. That's right, interchangeable faces! For those turtles maniacs, please get these accessories at once and add more fun to your collection! So as the back of the card shows, you just pop off the head that's originally on these figures, stick the turtle one on, stick the shell accessory on, and BAM! You've got a knockoff Ninja Turtle! This is very much in the same vein as that Galaxy Cop line I covered where it's like, These figures aren't Star Wars! Fooled you! Yes, they are. So there's six figures in the original basic lineup of Amicable Herculeans. They don't give them any names, so out of the three I got, first we have... Head Scar Ugly Beard Man, Blue Shades Bug Eye Cowboy, the Train Robber, or as I like to call him, Cowboy Shredder. Then you could get Man in the Yellow Hat, the Smoking Edition, Mohawk Monstrosity, and then stupid Eye Patch Bald Guy. And then they could all turn into turtles for more play value! On the crappy edition Amicable Herculeans, I guess quite fittingly, the China mark is on their butt. It makes me curious, since this guy doesn't come with a turtle head, does his head still pop off? Yup! Fatality! Come off! Ugh! <laughs> wow. Okay, this is gonna be crazy, guys. I'm gonna stick normal amicable Herculean on the crappy body, and crappy amicable Herculean on the better body. Maybe. Uh, I think his head won't quite stick on right, so I guess you get a giraffe neck ugly beard guy. My body couldn't get any worse. Oh, give me my body back! <laughs> oh. Hey, before we talk about the last version of amicable Herculean, let's turn the original guys into turtles. Ugh. If I can get their dumb turtle heads on, requires a lot more pressure than you'd think it should. <laughs> Is that it? It must go on better than that. Come on! Ugh! Easy change for the kids here. Ugh. <laughs> Stupid giraffe turtle. Maybe he'll look better with his shell on. Mm -hmm. Oh, it must be because this isn't the head that came with Ugly Beard Guy here. I need one of the weird red turtle heads. That must be the problem. Yeah, this one just snaps on right easy. Holy crap, these suck. Try every one of these heads to see if one of them goes on better than this. Go on! All right, th there's our stupid long neck turtle idiot. Stick his shell on. Look at him mutate before our eyes. The wonder. So the shells at the side here have these little snaps, sort of. To stick it on. Yeah. Beard guy is now turned into this. So there we go. Our three masters of the universe goons have transformed into Ninja Turtle knockoffs. And extremely cool Ninja Turtles knockoffs, because they've got shades. And that's how you get the high-heeled heroes in a half shell. I can hardly tell the difference between these and the original Playmates figures. It's also irritating how none of the turtles' heads quite snap into the ball joint correctly. So we've got to deal with stupid long neck turtles. You can also see how their shells at the top don't really like to align very nicely and... Since their heads aren't popped in all the way, they'll pop off quite easily. So now we have three of our Ninja Turtle knockoffs. I guess we better get the fourth turtle, right? Oh yeah, this guy will turn into an awesome turtle, especially without having a turtle head. Just um, see how well this sticks on this idiot. Hmm, it's almost like this other body type wasn't designed for this gimmick very well. Oh, yeah, yeah, perfect. And this guy's just floored by how good this looks. 
You know, I didn't think the other amicable Herculeans were quite great Ninja Turtles copies, but this, this is perfect! Oh, well, um, let's, uh, rip his head off and try to give him a Ninja Turtle head. You know what? That goes on, um, a little bit nicer, I think, than the other guys. And the shell doesn't go on this body very well, but his head, eh. His head sort of pops in a little bit nicer. Maybe as jumping the gun on that. I guess it eats up a little bit more of the neck, but it doesn't really stay on super great. So there, if they had included a Ninja Turtle head with this version of these stupid figures, that's what it would look like. Though maybe with a little less paint detail and a little crappier plastic molding. And I know what you guys are thinking. What is under that robe? Or or whatever. Well, let's find out. Oh yeah, time to get real turtle sexy. Whoa, you look um a little hungry there, turtle. <laughs> what? Glad his underwear is right up his crack. There we go. Um Yeah. <laughs> Turns out these guys are like Slender Turtle when you take their clothes off. Glad he's got a little star belt with his underwear, or maybe that's just the pattern on his underwear. But oh yeah, Turtles got back! And speaking of their back, it's on the middle of their back where these ones have their China marking. Woo! Turtle splits! Kawanoga! And here's what happens if we stick the turtle shell on this guy, which, I don't know, just kind of makes him look like he's uh, some kind of flasher wearing a turtle mask and shell. Like, ha ha, gotcha! Anyway, that's enough stimulation from stupid naked turtle. That's Amicable Herculean, the line of guys and their varying degrees of bad Ninja Turtles cosplay. Especially this doofus. Man, a girl looked at me the other day and said, You are the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, I looked at myself in the mirror the other day and said the same thing. We suck. Speak for yourselves. I love being a train robber who gets no sleep or is incredibly high. <laughs> We're the Turtles. You can count on us. Man, we really can! The turtles are the best! Hey, that might lift our crappy spirits! Let's try to get into that turtles concert! Three tickets for coming out of their shells, please! Th I don't think so, buddy! You're way too big of a loser and ugly to get into this concert! What? Give me a break! I see you guys let Baltard in there! <laughs> I look down on you, amicable Herculeans! Wow, that's, um, uh, lower than I thought we could ever go. I know what we need to do! Destroy that blasted Turtles concert! Uh, no, I don't think that's the answer at all! Yes, clearly where we have gone wrong is trying to rip off the wrong franchise. Aw, oh, come on, you guys! I'm right here! Mm. Look, if you guys want a chance at even being remotely as cool as us, you gotta go jump in some mutagen and horribly mutate yourself. There's some right behind you. Is this seriously what we've been reduced to? We are amicable Herculean! We need not mutate ourselves into blasted freaks! You've never really looked at my face, have you? Well, to be honest, I've been quite high this entire time, so... Ah! We can't fall any lower, so, hey, we might as well... Cowabunga! I do not approve. All right, amicable power! Hey guys, am I late? It's me, the other beard guy. <laughs> I want to be a turtle too. Wee! Oh, I dropped my weapon. Wow, I did it! I'm such a turtle now, guys! I can get into the concert! 
Hey guys, am I turtly enough for the turtle concert? Did you seriously just make a Master of Disguise reference? You are the ugliest turtle I've ever seen. Oh! Well, it seems like you guys have made a huge mistake, doesn't it? Oh, shut up! No! Hey! We're the Crooked Ninja Turtle Gang. I mean, we're the Turtle Maniac Amicable Herculeans. Let us into the concert. Well, I always have had a thing for redheads. Really? Uh, no. So, are you saying that we did this for nothing and my brother died in vain? Yeah, pretty much. Man, I thought I was going to love being a turtle, but this really hasn't worked out. And I've become what I hate the most! There is nothing left for me. Whoa! Keep your head on, dude! <laughs> Hope you guys are all ready for another drop down the galaxy hole with the absolutely stunning toy line, Seder Masters! From Abyss! Seder Masters From Abyss is a toy line that's quite annoying to get a hold of, and I was quite lucky to get as many of them as I did. And these three all gave me a hand for doing so. Way too literally. So there's a bunch of silly characters in Seder Masters, one even partly named Silly, but you might notice that they're missing a depiction of something you might expect from a line called Seder Masters. Yes, there's no Seder in the line Seder Masters, but hey, why would you expect that? So one of the things I, of course, absolutely adore about Seder Masters is that they're from Abyss. Not THE Abyss or anything, just Abyss. Guess I've been gazing too long into Abyss, and now Abyss will now gaze into me. But hey, don't get too silly cocky about it, Seder Masters. In kind of classic galaxy figure tradition, we have a line here talking about the articulation on the figures. With twistable arms, head, waist, and legs to present a desirous pose. Ooh, most desirous. We got an actual year on the back of the Seder Masters card, which is kind of nice, which is 1990, copyright pending. Sure hope that happened when one anyone's stealing these. They're made in China. The Seder Masters cards give us artwork of three of the characters in the line. Well, with an asterisk around that bulldog character. And uh, why does the Seder Master logo have a skyline in behind it? Like, what does a city skyline have to do with satyrs? Then again, what does this toy line have to do with satyrs? Guess the Seder Masters are depictions of people that you're pretty likely to run across in the city. The names of the Seder Masters are that special combination of amazing and stupid. So let's go through the Seder Master's roll call. Reptilian. Maxine 2. Silly Cocky. You heard me. Shyly Honey Ram. Mm-hmm. Sarian. Watchful Alamo. Bolando. Mm. Cheeky Mommy. Baronino Paleski Mad Gurinka <laughs> Yeah, Shad Fragerson. I want you guys to hear me on this. Sad Froggerson. Straight out of the package, some of these guys already managed to look quite dirty, so that's impressive, I guess. Or not, I don't know. And that's some nice plastic overrun on your hands there, you stupid dirty owl. All your friends will want one! A stupid panda! With plastic overrun on his hands. And stupid panda's so nice, I got him twice. Or I guess it's Baranino or Baranino, that's what I should be calling them. Pistol, 
a machine gun, a dagger, and a long curved sword. So this Masters of the Universe Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cash-in toy line was absolutely wonderful for having things like silly, cocky, and shyly horny ram in it. So here we go, silly cocky meets big cock. I should probably censor that one. All right, now let's go into our Seder Masters from Abyss, who might really be proving that Abyss is actually the galaxy hole, since these guys got galaxy hero heads. All right, so here's at least the four characters with a direct connection to, um, Seder Masters Reptilian. We start off with Galaxy Warrior Sawhack, then we get Galaxy Fighters Cobra, then Galaxy Heroes Reptilian, and then Seder Masters Reptilian. We got one last step here since Iguana started off in Fighters. It's the Galaxy Fighters version of Iguana, then we got Galaxy Heroes Saurian, and then Seder Masters Saurian. Then we got the Bolando line, sorta. We start with Galaxy Warriors Anubi, then we got Galaxy Fighters Anubi slash WoW for whatever. Then we got Galaxy Heroes Wolfman, then we got the distortion of Galaxy Heroes Wolfman later. Which finally leaves us with Seder Masters Bolando, sort of. And then, of course, there's an asterisk by this weird galaxy hero, since it's also possible this was a really botched attempt to represent Tiger Man in the Galaxy Heroes line. But I'll tell you that this Galaxy Heroes head sculpt does not really represent a tiger, much like it does not really represent a bulldog. This is rather strange for Seder Master, since every other drawing of their characters on the card back sort of looks like the toy, except Bolando. Like the other two Galaxy Heroes, those kind of look like the Galaxy Heroes heads they plopped on these figures, but not this one. At first I thought they just didn't put that Galaxy Hero Anubi Tiger Man whatever he is on the back of the Seder Masters card until I realized that he was supposed to be the figure for the Bulldog. So I'm glad that's one of the three characters they chose to showcase on the front of the card, one that's not really there. And yes, you can stick the Amicable Herculean's Ninja Turtle shells on the Seder Masters, though I think it fits, you know, the original Amicable Herculean body type a bit better. But it's not like Seder Masters are trying to cash in on TMNT like Amicable Herculeans, right? Anyway, there's a variation of Seder Masters out there with a more blatant knockoff Ninja Turtle card back called Reptiles Warriors. Oh, this is guys just couldn't find other colored plastic. Or either too lazy or cheap to get it. Hmm. Guess they didn't think it mattered. They just got too silly cocky. That's quite the mouth on silly cocky too, isn't it? It's like going into his neck. The weird white splotches from Amicable Herculean returns in Seder Masters, which is on the tank top on the Seder Master body type along with their logo, which is a heart? I mean, really guys? A heart? That's what you want your weird, crude, anthropomorphic animals and weird Frankenstein's mummy character to be sporting? Hearts? And while we're on it, it is kind of weird how every character in this line is an anthropomorphic animal, except Cheeky Mamiya. Headbands? Where'd you guys get that idea? I don't get why if they're using characters from Galaxy Heroes, why they didn't use the Yig head from that line, which, you know, it's like a minotaur, which is like a reverse satyr, kinda, so that's somewhere in the right area. Or they could have used this idiot who was actually called Seder, though I guess that wouldn't fit the all animals and one mummy theme. And that's the ridiculous world of the Seder Masters, a takeoff of the amicable Herculeans deeper down into the galaxy hole and not a Seder in the bunch. No, I thought I was a master swordsman, but I cut my hand off. Looks like I got a little too silly cocky. Are you saying you cut your hand off as a joke about your silly name? <laughs> yep. Yeah. 
Anyway, we've got headbands on, so let's rip off the Ninja Turtles! Sanders fight without honor! Um, neither of us are satyrs. Hey, stop bringing up valid points, Podesky. We, the Cheeky Mamiya Brothers, will join your little Ninja Turtles rip-off gang since we sort of got headbands too. Yeah, and I also shot off one of my hands because I'm an idiot. Pretty cool, huh? Um, no, not really. Oh, wow, so you guys are ripping off the Ninja Turtles. That's a really great there. You know, if there's one thing this world needed, it was another Ninja Turtles ripoff. We don't have enough of those. You know, if there's one thing Sad Froggerson really strives for, it's originality. Hey, you ain't original, you stupid frog. Oh, jeez, I knew this day would come. Someone would point out that my body is stolen from you, idiots. Well, you know what? <laughs> well, you know, shooting him really didn't prove my point at all, but, um... I'm sad, Frogerson. Yay, yeah, I'm sorry, and it don't look behind us, but uh, I think our galaxy hero counterparts have found us. <laughs> this is uh, kind of awkward. I never thought they would find out we existed. I thought we Seder Masters were flying under the radar. <laughs> oh, wow, really? I want to get galaxy hero science autograph. I told you not to look, you... Idiot! Now we're gonna have to talk to them! So, uh, we heard you two not only stole our heads, but you also stole our names! Not cool, bro! Yes! Imagine getting ripped off by someone like that! Awkward! Hey, no one's gonna care about the rest of you stupid non sater sater masters! Everyone's gonna want one of us! A stupid panda! Um, just for your information, this other bear Nino does not represent my interests. Haha, <laughs> you so funny, bro. I hate him so much. I just want you all to know, I seen everything! I'm Watchful Alamo! I've got nothing in my life besides watching other people! <laughs> but I wear my baseball cap sideways, so that's cool, right? <laughs> Let me please be a part of your group! Hey, if you guys are ripping off Ninja Turtles, I kind of feel like we should have been invited. Oh crap, I never thought the amicable Herculeans would find out about our Ninja Turtle ripoff racket. Yeah, looks like you were silly cocky. <sighs> Well, I'm uh, really glad that like, everyone showed up and said who they were. This didn't seem like an aimless sketch at all. No, this was one of the greatest sketches in Bootleg Zone's history. I'm Sad Frogerson. Watching, and we'll see you in the morning. M A G A.